The artwork of St. Andrew Church in Patras, Greece, is one of the most significant monumental works of the modern post-Byzantine period. This monumental artwork shows the historical continuity of Byzantine art, having already served as an essential point of reference in the most recent artistic manifestation of Orthodox monumental art. St. Andrew's Cathedral is a Christian basilica located on the west side of Patras city center, next to the coastline. It is a pilgrimage destination for Christians worldwide. The temple is dedicated to Christ's first apostle, St. Andrew. The temple's overall area is 2,600 square meters. It is considered Greece's second largest Orthodox church behind the Holy Church of St. Pantelemon on a Carnon Street in Athens. Following the competition in 1985, the late painter Giannis Carusos was commissioned to paint the church, and by 2013, he had completed most of it, with the exception of the north and south aisles. The fresco work in the Cathedral of St. Andrew covers an area of 2,600 square meters. The primary sections that reflect the avant-garde artwork are the Dome, 1989 to 1992, is a stunning artwork with a total area of 997 square meters that includes spherical triangles and a height of 40.5 meters. The creation of the world on the dome's ring, influenced by mosaics from the Capella Palatina in Sicily and St. Mark's in Venice, shows the artist's capacity to transform orthodox monumental art into modern art. Our Lady of the Heavens, in the temple's central eastern niche, end of 1985, is the most important piece that bears the signature of a great master. The central niche has a total surface of 220 square meters and a width of 20 meters. This creative composition represents the Virgin Mary embracing the modern city of Patras rather than a historic Byzantine city, as would be expected of an Orthodox church's iconographic program. The idea was to maximize the flow of communication between the artwork and the parishioners. Despite their first reactions to this creative art piece, parishioners quickly fell in love with the fresco, believing the Virgin Mary was literally embracing their daily lives. Our Lady of the Heavens has already been used as a prototype with the most recent to be in the new church of St. Nicholas at the Ground Zero in New York. The South Isle cupolas feature starry heavens that connect the Roman mosaics of Gala Placidia of Ravenna to Vincent van Gogh's Starry Night. These significant art elements, combined with the breathtaking ambiance that the entire fresco assembly creates, have rightfully been characterized as the forefront of post-Byzantine art and will definitely form the cultural heritage of future generations.